Hello students, I'm back to do the final uh, nested loop program for this semester and that is programmed to process multiple student record from an input file using nested loop. We have already perfected the technology to process a single record. We just need to put a that code block that processes a single record into an order loop which is a end of file control loop so basically what I'm saying here is let me show you the file with multiple records which is really the workhorse of the industry you don't process single record you really process multiple record and that file looks like this one this is the single record file uh, we have already perfected our program to work with this kind of file or the file that has only central value. But let us imagine that class will have more than one student of course and we'll have multiple records. So this is the record for John Doe, scores in different tests. This is the record for Willy Neely, Jill Quirk, Philosophy. Mary Doe, and there may be, you know, 100 more in there, or 1,000 more, doesn't really matter. Uh, what we are sticking with, of course, in each record, there's only a first and last name. There's no inconsistency about that. We're not saying other records would have three names or four names. And you could have either a central value for a person who didn't take any test, or one or more test scores followed by the central value. So we really need a program that will process this file and print out the results for all the students to console as well as to the output file. Okay. Well, one thing is very clear here. We already perfected a program that uses a central loop and process this record or record with central value only. So all we have to do is start reading this file and put the program that works to process one record into end of file control loop. And the reason is it works is that there is an end of file character sitting right here. So if my program that processes single record can be wrapped into an outer loop which is end of file control loop, then it's just going to process all the record. I mean, I know it seems like too simple to believe, but really that's all you need. So let's go back to Xcode and I'll show you how you can do that in like 30 seconds. Uh, so this is the Xcode. The other thing I want to tell you, let me take opportunity to do so. When you work large programs like this one, and this program is already uh, about 173, 175 lines. It could be more if I put a few more things in there like loops and things. So when you work with large programs, you should work in code blocks until we learn to use functions uh, or the modernization. So really you should write block by block and debug uh, each block and sub block. Don't go to next block until you have debugged the previous one. So notice that this block here is opening input file op opening input file code block. You have to make sure you debug this one and don't go to the next block until this work this one works correctly. And then we have explained in the previous video that this code block from here all the way up to here processes the single record. Printing OS STR later has nothing to do with processing the data. That's just printing. So we don't really need to worry about that. We uh, put everything inside OS string stream object and we can certainly print it after 
all the processing is done. But really, this is the code block that I just highlighted. And it starts right here, processing single re record code block. And end of processing of single record code block. That's the block of code that processes the single record. So really, all I have to do is just place this code block into a end of file control loop, and that will process multiple records. Really, I mean, it's really that simple. So all I have to do is just go here, and I say, and really, I'm just going to be a little bit misaligned here. So we know how we do the auto. Uh, end of file control loop, we say while in dot peak is not equal to EOF. So that's the beginning of my outer loop, and I I just need to wrap this process single code block starting and then I look for the ending because I already marked it. So make sure whatever you need to put in outer loop has been marked like the way I marked here with some comments. Make sure you mark it otherwise you'll be terribly confused. Okay? So I started the loop here because this is the code block I need to wrap in an outer loop. And now I'm going to look at the end of the, so this is the end of the single record processing code block. And really all I have to do is just put the end of the loop here. So this is end of outer loop or EOF controlled loop. And you may be shocked that it is really that simple. Logically, it is that simple to process a file with multiple records. But really, this is it. You have already perfected the code block that processes the single record. That was really the most of the work. Uh, wrapping that into a UF control loop really just takes this line here before the beginning of this code block and this I just did that this curly brace here and that's it now believe it or not this will process multiple records I will show it to you and if you do it in a assignment 5 or whether you do it in the test your job is really to perfect this code block that processes the single record and all you do just write these two lines uh, one before the single record processing code blocks code block starts which is really simply this line which is trivial and then when the single record processing code block has ended after that you just put this right curly brace. This is it really. There's nothing to it. Okay, and you will see that it, 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 it does work. So I'm going to, I just showed you that file called mult txt which has multiple records. This one and we are going to process that file and Output will be shown on the console as well as in the output file. So let me go back to my Xcode and I do the build and run. And you will see that it's really pretty simple. Okay, OS was not declared in the scope. Okay, so looks like I. Okay, I have to move my OS string stream declaration outside so it can be seen here. So I have to move it outside the inner code block. So that's one thing that you're going to have that that you need to um, make some changes like that, slight debugging. So really, 
I need to get this one out of here and really declare it up front here somewhere. Okay, maybe even here. It doesn't really hurt anything to do that. So now this will be in scope for the entire program, so it doesn't really matter. So that was slight debugging, and you may have to do that, by the way. Uh, when you go from one program to another, that slight debugging may have to be done. Okay. So we'll run it now, and this will work now. This time it will work. Okay, there it is. So it's asking me, type the full path to input full file. Well, I placed input file in a location where I don't need to type the path. I can just type its name, mult.txt. Mult, mult means multiple. And notice that I did get the output on the console already. Uh, okay, so where is that? Yeah, there, there you go. So start hello John Doe. So here's the processing of the John Doe record. We have done that before, of course. Numbers were probably different. Willie Neal, Nelly's record has been processed. Jill Quirk's record has been processed. Philosophy didn't take any test. So it says you didn't take any test. And Mary Doe's record has been processed. Okay. And then what it is doing is asking me full path the output file and I'm just going to give it out many dot txt and this is fine and if I go to my finder I will see that okay so I just had it, I thought. Here it is. Okay. And I created that out many.txt. It's right there. And if I go to font, I can go to font, show fonts. There you go. So I have processed multiple student, John Doe, John Doe, Willy Nilly, Willy Nilly, Jill Quirk, Jill Quirk. Philosophy didn't take any test. So hello philosophy, you didn't take any test. Hello Merido. And here's the Merido record. And so on. Merido is the last one, of course. Okay. So really it's that simple. Okay, so I, I would agree that I had a little uh, thing here that I had to move up O string stream on the top. You can do in every program. You can just put O string stream at the top. Really, you didn't have to put where I did uh, do it. But other than that, really, it was just a matter of adding this line before processing the single record code block begin and just adding that curly brace after the end of the processing single record code block and this is it you don't need to really do anything more than that all right so this wraps up the nested loop i would like you to work with additional files uh, i'm gonna upload this video there's already a section on d12 where this will be uploaded and this program and please be sure to review this all this before next time we meet. Thank you so much. Bye.